electrical problems. Now, again, we still have switches drawn here. What are we going to do to make this into something that we could control by our microcontroller? Well, we could make, instead of a switch, we could simply use a, a relay and have the microcontroller control the relay, but they're limited on how fast you can switch them, so that kind of scheme isn't very practical for uh, pulsive modulation, though it can be done. Another alternative, let's take out our switches, is, and is to substitute some solid state devices, basically some transistors. So if we put a transistor up here, and we'll put a PNP, um, draw this correctly, this is the emitter, collector, and the base. And down here we can put an NPN, this is P. We'll put an NPN transistor where we have the collector and base. Same thing on the other side. up here in the corner. Same thing we have on the other side. This is an N plus. N N. Okay? Now the way these work with a transistor like this um, we'll look at the NPN on the bottom here first. If I apply a little bit of current between the base and the emitter, a little small current like this, it enables a flow of a large current from the collector make this fat, to the emitter. And that's how the transistor works as an amplifier. A little bit of current here will control a large current there. So essentially, by, by bringing this high, I turn this transistor on. And if I have no voltage here, transistor is off. Okay? So by applying a fairly low level current, which my microcontroller can supply, I can control a big current that will run the motor. Up here, this is a PNP device. It's similar, but somewhat different. If I have a small current between the emitter and the base going that way, I turn the transistor on and I enable a large current through the emitter collector. So in this case, by enabling a, uh, pulling this low and enabling the current to flow from my supply through the transistor and down to ground, By pulling the, this base low, I turn it on. Or if I pull this base high up to my B plus, I turn the transistor off and there's no current flow. Okay? Now, the way I just drawn it, okay, is shows up one of the problems of H bridges. If you're not careful about what you turn on and what you turn off, I instead of turning on the, this pair of transistors, I've turned on this pair of transistors. So what kind of power goes to the motor? Well, none, because there's no power over here. But I do have, have created a direct current path from my battery through those two transistors back down to ground with no load in between. So I'll get a very high current and either blow up fuse or burn out my transistors. So what we want to do, instead of turning on those two, of course, We want to turn on this transistor over here, get that current flowing to get the motor to turn that direction. Okay? So we're getting close. 
and have something approaching a circuit that we can control with our microcontroller. We've got solid state devices everywhere. They can switch quickly. Um, these don't take a lot of current to turn on and off. So uh, our Arduino or our uh, Atmel or PIC or whatever device you're using can is potentially drive these circuits. There's still one little problem here. Um, well, let's, let's add a little few more components to finish the circuit. You've got to make sure that this is off when it's off. What we'll typically do is put, say, a 10K resistor here and tie that point high, okay? And we'll put a 10K resistor here. Pull that low. Another resistor here, 1K, 10K, 10K, 10K. And these are very, again, very symmetric. And that gives me points here that I can drive with a little more practicality because when I have, when I set the if this is disconnected or whatever, this will be um, this point will be pulled low through that 10k resistor, and that transistor's off. This transistor's off. This trans this PMP up here is pulled high through that 10k resistor. So that one, so everything's turned off. It's disconnected, and, and life is good. The minor difficulty here is to turn to turn this off. Obviously, we have to be stay at this B plus. Well, if we're using a Arduino or a PIC or Atmel chip or any similar device, those those typically operate on the range of zero to five watts. Okay. Now our motor, in this case, I've written 12 volts. It could be 36 volts. It could be whatever. Um, you don't want to hook this high voltage into your microcontroller over here. Okay. Um, you don't want to put that 12 volts or whatever back onto that device. It may not tolerate the voltage. Um, some devices have internal diodes that um, essentially prevent you from pulling that, that pin any higher, and that will keep that from turning itself off. Uh, so there's, there's some problems there when you do that. So what we need to do is get to find a way to get to control this point here between the 12 volts and 0 volts with a 0 to 5 volt signal. Sounds like another transistor, doesn't it? So if I take this and put it into a NPN transistor, and this, this can go to ground, and I have a little resistor here, and that goes to my microprocessor. Now when this goes high, Okay, I turn, I supply some current to that base. Okay, goes down to ground. It turns the transistor on, and it will pull this voltage down to ground right here. Okay, so that will turn this transistor on. So if I put a high signal here, high equals on, and when this is low, I don't pull this down. I don't get the current through there, and this is pulled up to that 10k by that 10k resistor to my B plus, and the whole circuit is off. Okay. I have to add the same thing on the other side. So at this point, we have a reasonably practical circuit. Um, we can have fairly low-level inputs that we can control through our microcontroller. Uh, we've got some noise protection on the motor. We've got the diodes so we don't get voltage spikes. We've got it set up so we can control. And this is a fairly reasonable circuit to use. 
Um, the exact devices you use here depend upon the current that you need to drive. Um, a popular choice is the um, TP107. And TP102 transistor pairs. Um, those will sync a couple amps or a couple watts. Um, so they're, they're usually a popular choice. Um, they'll control a couple amps. They will sync a couple watts in a, a reasonably sized package. 